what is going on guys we are back for another dsp video my god it finally happened elden ring dlc was here to save the channel there's no way this would be a flop right and dsp with his magic cheese build there's no way he would fail right and of course all the hand holding will make him breeze through the game right well it didn't go quite the way dsp wanted so we start off with this so I put this out a day before he started playing this. We are really overdue for a Bloodborne Ludwig moment, lol. And we are getting closer and closer to that. Then Lord Robusto, if Homelander was a detractor, and we see Homelander with his Argentina costume. Then we get a throwback tweet from that being said. Darkside Phil on Twitch. It's just one of those nights. Get caught up doing shit around the house. Got too much adrenaline pumping. Next thing you know, it's super late and I can't sleep. I think what he means is he got drunk and played WWE Champions, got a Hulk Hogan, and May first himself. Then if you want some more detractor content, we have Lord Diaz, who's going on the Dropping Down from the Rathers podcast. So check that out. Always a good time with Lord Diaz. Then he's been saying he's been waiting for this the entire year. This is the big build-up moment. This is the thing that's going to save his channel and bring people in. And guess what, guys? He's late for work. Yet again. We have Otter here. I love that Phil is late to work for a stream he's been hyping up for months. And we have Mr. Ludacris. DSP is using his amazing business degree style brain once again. On a year when there isn't abundance of decent games to stream, he takes a day off when the Elden Ring DLC comes out. Then, the following day, he starts off the pointless podcast just get to the game for fuck's sakes. Then I'm going to give you a window into the future here. So we got Phil Callens. His smile and optimism gone. Gone forever. And we see the first one from his pre-stream. Where he's all happy, excited for Elden Ring. And then we see the daily rap. Where there's mixed thoughts. So what happened in between? Oh trust me. You're going to love it. Love it. Of course DSP had to do his... DSP Gaming News segment, where he talked about the Evil Within and Microsoft and not knowing how to manage the games to promote the games, and he said that the Evil Within 2 was a failure because Microsoft refused to promote their game, and that the head of Tango left because Microsoft didn't know how to run their company. Now there's only one problem with this. So as you see, the Evil Within 2 came out in 2017. Tango was acquired by Microsoft in March 2021. So DSP got your times mixed up there. And then he started talking about his PC switch over to his wife's PC in the summertime. And he called it, and I quote, the great migration. This guy has his head so far up his ass, even the little simplest things as switching over a computer and put his files on the other computer as a great migration. And once a send off stream, for his PC. Go fuck yourself, Phil. And then he went on to get a tip from a viewer who said they sold their PS5 because they needed money. And he's glad to watch DSP play the Elder Ring DLC. So let me get this straight. You sold your PS5 because you needed money. And then he took some of that money and gave it to Phil. What a cuck. Then Phil went on to say his day off was shopping, watch Battle Bots with Cat, and had a few drinks. No mention of food. Isn't this funny? Before he says, I'm a recovered alcoholic. I don't drink anymore. And then, I only drink on streams during events. Now it's, I'm drinking on my days off. Slippery slope there, Phil. Then he went on to talk about Street Fighter 6 and how every person in casual is a troll. They're there to overload their trollness. And all camis are trolls. That's the only reason he lost, dude. So he went on to say, DSP blocks all trolls in Street Fighter 6 so he won't get matched with them again. DSP also claims casuals are all the same trolls he's getting matched with after blocking them. Which is it Phil? It can't be both. Then we have Gelkout. DSP using every word he can to talk trash to the trolls of Street Fighter 6. Night. Zangief in Street Fighter 6. The first hour I wanted to warm up again. I go to casual play. And literally what has happened in this game is my stupid ass, dumb fuck, life wasting, loser, mouth drooling, brainless, dickless, ballless, soulless, mindless idiots of trolls have decided to stalk me every time that I play this game in casual play. 
So, whenever I boot it up now, it's the same fucking people now changing their names around to pretend like it's not them. But when they're using names like Porterhouse and T-Bone to jump on a steak meme from last week, yes, they actually think there is a steak meme worth actually repeating. They're that stupid. I mean, I don't know what else to say. You have to be a fucking moron to think that's funny. <clears throat> so they're doing this now. And basically what they're doing is they're flooding the casual play with camis or basically being really annoying. Like one guy, I was about to beat him and he actually pulled the plug. And I'm like, it's casual play. Why would you ever pull the plug? At the very least, finish the match and then don't rematch. But why would you pull the plug? Number two, this is the guy who pulled the plug in Demon Souls PvP. Then, DSP declared victory over Argentina and all the fake member bombs that have occurred. So DSP read a story about YouTube cracking down on people buying YouTube Premium using a VPN then declared, oh, this means they're going to do it for the memberships as well and the super chats and all that stuff. Phil, the reason they probably are doing this is because they make more money off YouTube Premium than super chats or memberships because they only get like 30% of it. So if someone's doing a dollar membership and they get 30% off of that, or if they have, let's say, YouTube Premium that's $20 a month, which do you think they're going to prioritize over each other? And we have Otter here. To be clear, YouTube is stopping people with premium subscriptions where their bill-in method doesn't match the country they subscribe from. This doesn't affect gifted memberships in the slightest. So Phil is either ignoring the facts or didn't understand what it is. And then Otter went on to say, Phil says Argentina memberships are 20 cents, so people are buying 50 of them for $2. Great forbidden math there, DSP. Then we have Theo. So DSP saying YouTube might now fix the VPN shit with memberships. Now I got a question. If they fix that, will DSP React submission tier go back to normal price? Spoiler, it won't, lol. Yeah, and DSP does this. So slowly over time, they'll increase price little by little. So no one really notices it. Because if you remember the vest streak, do you guys remember what the tips goal were when he did the vest streak? It was $200, not per stream, per day. Which means he wanted $100 per stream, now he wants $150 per stream. Funny how he tries to normalize that. Then we have DSP eats it. Just to clear up any lies DSP may be propagating, it's G2 premium memberships. It won't affect Phil's loyal Argentina followers. And then DSP got a huge tip, $123 from Darren, saying that the Elden Ring playthrough helped when his dad died. That is... Absolutely sad in many different ways. Then Otter puts this out. Darren with a $123 tip. So I guess that means you won't be begging constantly all day, DSP. I guess it depends on how the day goes. Man, I can't wait to see how support is today. And then he went on to say, There is no steak meme. It's not worth laughing about. You're a fucking moron if you think that's funny. By the way, this is the second time this pre-stream he's mentioned the steak meme. And we have this from Poem. Why are you asking about something I made part of my content for five years while I beg you to send me money to fix for me? People say that it's the weirdest thing. So we're talking about Elden Ring. Someone just said in the chat, do you still own your second property? Do I still own my second? What does that have to do with Elden Ring stream tonight? How, first of all, how is it your business if I own a second property? What does that have to do with the stream and the game we're playing tonight? <laughs> Why would you ask that? Right? Like... How about this? Uh, well, hey, what's your credit score? Can you tell me? What's your credit score like? Period. <laughs> He's an intrusive question. Like, what? The, the answer is no. I haven't had that property in years. It got foreclosed on. That was part of my bankruptcy many years ago, is that I had to surrender the property as part of the bankruptcy. And it took them about a year to go through with the full foreclosure, and they've had it for many years. It has not been my responsibility or in my name in many, many years. <clears throat> But I don't know what the hell that has to do with our stream or our game tonight. You tell me. That is absolutely a lie. So his property, which was mixed in with Citibank, was excluded from his bankruptcy so they could still go after him. His bright idea was to stop paying them. So they just foreclosed on him. Technically, if they sell that property, I believe for a lower price, they can go after him for the remaining balance. So now guys, it's time to look at some footage. Let's see how DSP did in Elden Ring. What the fuck?
No biting. Well, it does a lot of damage to find these dancing lion. I told you it was a lion. I called that it was a lion. Oh, that's annoying. That missed. I gotta get away from him now. Boy, he's fast, huh? Oh, shit. Wow, this is a whole arena. Yeah. You could go the entire distance of the arena. Oh, I tried to roll. Look at the camera. The camera's terrible in this. Oh, wow, the camera's awful. This is like a flash kick. It's like a guile flash kick. Oh, no, I don't like the arena at all. Look, I get stuck on the walls so easily. Look at this shit. Oh my god! That was wild. He's so fast. Can't do anything. Dude, I don't like this at all. I'm getting bossed into the wall. Don't fucking hit me! You know I was rolling? Come on. What the? Dude, I can't even tell what's hitting me. Dude, I, can't, I can't tell what's hitting me. Right? He says, Elden Ring hype never changed. It's, oh, it's never your fault, always the games. Of course, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. It's, I never did anything wrong. I did everything right. I did everything correct. The game. I can't, look at this. I'm not supposed to see. I can't, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, what? Oh, my God. I tried to roll, I swear. Damn, so what's going on right now? Can you see? I can't see shit. I did a spin attack. Flash kick. I just get the spit. I tried to roll, but I was still recovering from the heal. That was a slam. Now I'm dead. Wow. I can hurt him, but where are the holes to attack? Right? That's my question. Where I knew what that was, couldn't see it. You know what I mean? I rolled and he still got me because it's a double bite. Tried to roll, slammed me. Did I can't? When do I heal? Slammed again. Damn, this guy's slamming. And by the way, he's more than one dude. If you can't tell. I rolled. I. <laughs> it's so delayed. This stupid Elden Ring shit. The delay. Double bite. Double hit. It's a bite and then it's a tail whip. I'm gonna get hit because I'm going to feel it. That is so frustrating. It's a 
tail whip? No, a double bite. Yeah, I can't read what he's doing. Throws him. Okay. Okay, now he's using Dick Lightning. Dick Lightning. Dick fucking Lightning. God damn it. Double bite. Looks like I got a the second one. I hit by a third bite. Oh, and then I died. <laughs> he did three bites and then spit. All in a row. That was four hits in a row. Oh, my God. He's vomiting again. That was four. He attacked. Did you even see an attack? What happened? Normally, a vomiting boss or any boss that does something like that would actually have an opening after. He's doing the vomit projectile and immediately... I tried the fucking roll, man. It's slow as shit. It's so annoying. Can't see the three hits, four hits. Now he's vomiting. That's the one you can hit after. So then he can't do two. I tried to roll right, and it comes out too late. I tried to roll right to dodge the. like I need way more health how am I gonna beat this boss that kills me with two hits and sometimes he combos those two hits I don't even know if I can if I can beat it right is there is there more because I didn't explore any of these other areas so maybe I should come back to this maybe I should go look for more of those power-up upgrade things and then come back because I'm just I mean I'm dying in two hits I'm never gonna kill this thing this is gonna be a waste of time trying to just beat my head against a brick wall all night when he kills me that fast. It'd be one thing if it was like, okay, he's outplaying me. Nah, it's just fucking, he kills me so fast with one hit. There's no point, right? So I think we're gonna, we're gonna have to go and just do explore, exploration. I don't think we can do this yet. So I guess what we'll do is we'll head back here and we'll actually start exploring the east. We never went over here. We'll start exploring the east side. And it only got worse from there. Poems, Josh. Finally starts the game, dies within 10 seconds of controlling the character, yeesh. And then DSP went on to complain that he spent $40 on the DLC and they didn't add in any trophies. Cause you know, DSP is a trophy hunter. And then one of the dumbest things he said last night, DSP is complaining he had to turn on performance mode to get better frame rates in Elden Ring. 
Now DSP went on to say when he played Demon Souls, he loved it. He played it different than other people and grinded off camera. Today, it's different. He plays them naturally. Then the DLC has new weapons, new everything. And DSP says he can't use other weapons because he will have to respec. This whole playthrough already stinks. And this shows you how toxic this game is getting right now. So here we are finally at the stupid camp. And then he was noticing he only had $4 on the whole stream for Elden Ring. And he said, Okay guys, please remember to support the stream tonight. Third bag and still no gameplay. This of course was at the night stream. Then DSP said he needs to sit down and figure out what he's doing before this boss. He has to strategize, aka someone tell him what to do. You still haven't told me. Another quote from DSP, 40 hours huh? 40 hours of this? Okay, whatever. You can tell he's already wanted to rage quit this game. Even though he's supposed to save the channel dude. We got poems. This is his Elden Ring playthrough all over again. He's just complaining about everything and blame him from soft. Then we have JG Win. The Elden Ring DLC debut stream for DSP was him fucking off doing nothing. And he had $183 at the start so that's what he got for the pre-stream. And didn't even care about anything. Now he's at $5. He's real pissy with the game and suddenly the toxic is coming out. It's not the same person. He needs the Snickers. And DSP went on to say, I'm not going to get angry at the game. Two minutes later, I don't like these vomiting flies or pissing me off. Another quote, the open world exploration isn't fun. This is fucking boring. It's dumb. And we have trigger point. Watching DSP use the most broken build to beat Elden Ring, go into the DLC and get his shit wrecked so hard he wants to rage quit. It's super satisfying. Laugh my fucking ass off. Mr. Ludacris. It's amazing that DSP has played all the Souls game and yet when you watch him play Elden Ring DLC, it's as if someone given the controller to a brainless chimp. Stop blaming the camera when you're locked onto a giant enemy while standing in front of it, face tanking it. Then DSP says something dumb. These look like the living urn dudes from Elden Ring. This is Elden Ring, Phil. Then he said, and I quote, I give up, fuck this. Another quote, I don't want to open world explore, it's boring. And Poems adds this on, you're playing the wrong FromSoft game for that, Phil. This is literally what sets Elden Ring apart from other games. And then Dark Sea to Flow. Phil's Elden Ring gameplay brought in $4. Wow, really tapping into that Elden Ring hype there, aren't you, Philly boy? DLC on life support, dudes. David Davidson. Phil's now complaining that he can't freely stagger lock enemies with magic attacks in a DLC. Yeah, they wanted a hard DLC and you went in knowing this. And then Darkseid talks about his magic build in the DLC. Phil's Night Comet spam was immediately countered by the Dancing Lion's Wind Breath attack. Phil is now blaming the camera for not being able to dodge the attacks. Phil, you realize you're not forced to target log in Elden Ring. And then DSP was getting pissed off and he was yelling at the game, screaming at the devs. And he went on to say, Phil wants the game to tell him where everything is so he doesn't have to explore. Imagine that in a game where you're encouraged to explore. And you can just get everything to beat the game and get it over with. Now you ready for a hell of a quote here? They fucked this up. This is bullshit. This is dumb. I just want to play the DLC. They invented a new mechanic for this and I don't like it. No other DLC they have done has been like this. And of course we saw him quit the lion boss, David Davidson. Phil getting owned by the lion boss. He's talking about coming back to it later now. The next boss isn't any better, Phil and it locks you from the rest of the DLC until you kill it. Then we got a foreshadow here. We are hidden old Hunter's DLC levels of salt from a From Software DLC. And then he tried to get people to rally so he can rage quit this game and no one can blame him. Phil is just yelling at anything and everything in the game now to get people to side with him to quit the DLC early. Nothing to do with low tips tonight though. And then people asked him if he's gonna continue to play this and he said, how well received it is determines how much I play. Phil during the recorded bag even though he's been wailed on already today. Yeah, he made like $183 on the pre-stream, then like $4 on the first stream. Then for the most of the night stream, he was at $5 until Anonymous came in and gave him like $20.
Then Poems Josh with the most honest answer of all time. In a week, he will have all the guide shit he needs, and this DLC will go from bad to awesome. We got Otter. DSP had the audacity a hardcore bag on the late stream right from the start. He was on $5 for most of it, and despite saying he wanted to spend time with Cat, he hung on for an extra 30 minutes to get 30 bucks more. Greed is terrible. Then DSP was talking about how nothing in this is meaningful. He wants meaningful content. DSP hates the DLC because all he wanted was legacy dungeons. And the DLC gave him more of everything which he hates. And then he got so toxic, such low tips, that he had three piss breaks tonight. And then I pointed this out. He started yelling at the chat as well. Uh-oh. The chat is disengaged and talking about stuff not related to the game on day one of Elden Ring DLC. When JG win, we're beyond the 20 minute window he announced. Wonder how much longer overtime will be. Remember he always says, I have no time to spend with my wife. I can't stay here all night. My wife is going to get angry because I'm not spending time with her. Yet when tips are low, he stays later. When tips are high, he's out immediately. Funny how that works out. JG win. Amazing, on the day stream at $187, he clocked out right on time. Now, DSP announced another 20 minutes tonight. We're now officially in overtime and still at $5. And now it's going to be great to get some support. And he finally closed the game at 35 minutes of OT. He's just spewing the groundwork to wage quit now. After no one gave him the type of money he expects. I'm expecting Daily Route to be amazing, despite this sudden last minute tip. And we got Duty. Phil tonight again mentioned how Fat Cat is upset and that Phil keeps working late. He made it a point to say he was leaving on time. So greedy to hit that $50 tip goal. Phil went 45 minutes late. Great husband. And then we get to the daily wrap. Gout Gout. This was 13 minutes of coping and complain about Elden Ring DLC. You don't want me to actually play the Elden Ring DLC. You want me to just explore the relatively empty, boring open world just mir miraculously coming across these upgrade items, finding enough to upgrade that then I can actually take on the fun stuff in the game. And the answer is yes. They created a new artificial difficulty mechanic. Even if you go into this thing leveled high, it doesn't matter. You will not be able to take on the bosses until you find enough upgrade items. And I'm like, that is incredibly stupid. Really, that's a bad system. I don't want to waste time exploring and grinding in this relatively boring empty open world just looking for where these upgrade items are i, I want to play the game we can't do that can't play i'll be honest i i liked it for the first three and a half hours <laughs> and then once we hit hour four and it became apparent there is no way you can make major progress in the dlc till you go open world grind and explore i was very upset i was like this sucks i'm bored i don't want to do that i want to play it and have fun with it not waste time for hours because like tomorrow i'm playing it again literally the entire three hours tomorrow may actually be just exploring the open world looking for upgrade items that's it instead of doing anything meaningful it might just be just just look around look for upgrade items is that a fun stream no is that fun to play no but that's how they built this dlc you know in the first game everything's meaningful anything you fight you get the runes you level up here it's meaningless like now i'm level 150 i've already got diminishing returns on leveling so the leveling's pointless i need to find these specific upgrade items and that's shitty i actually feel like that's a really bad way to do the dlc i think they, they thought it was gonna like make it equal for everyone but instead all you've done is you stifled my ability to have fun you're literally making me invest time to waste in a boring part of the game i don't like you know i i already said it the open world of elden rings vanilla elden ring is the worst part is the open world. It's the big shortcoming of the game. Anytime you're in a legacy dungeon and you're fighting a big epic boss, it's fun. The moment you go to the open world, it bored again. And that's what they've done. The whole thing is like, oh, just explore our open world again. What the fuck, Miyazaki? Like, what are you doing? So DSP wants high pace all the time, big bosses. Isn't that, Phil, instant gratification? You don't want to take your time, explore, enjoy the journey. You want your instant gratification. Then I found this funny. Gamerface Gaming put this out. If you enjoyed your McNuggies, would you consider leaving a tip? Yesterday we sold 250 Big Macs, but today has been slow. So please consider getting extra fries or something. Anything helps, okay? I've only got $5 so far. How do you expect me to pay my bills? Do come back again. And you see Phil as assistant manager at McDonald's. I hope you guys like that, click that like, share the video, leave a comment below, hit subscribe, subscribe to my other channels on the details of the end cards, and as always, 
I love each and every one of you. Hope you're all safe, healthy, and happy. Peace and love.